Welcome to a What's Up at Classic Game Room. New reviews of R-Type on the PC Engine and Joust for the NES are live at ClassicGameRoom.com. Go check them out. And I just wrote an article on what it would be like to be Thexter for a day. Transforming into a jet fighter, shooting enemies with lasers, and stomping on people. Thexter for a day. Go read that right now. Let's check out the Wind Squid Pub, the Classic Game Room forums for some questions. Got one here from uh, the Doctor seventy five thirty who asks if Sega announces a Dreamcast two. What features would I like to see? Well, for starters, a Dreamcast two, then total domination of the entire game industry once again by Sega. Then the Master System three, maybe a thirty two X adapter, two, and all kinds of fun peripherals, a Saturn eight. It's kind of stuff we need. Uh, HDMI output. I would love to see that on the Dreamcast, too. So, let's see here. Uh, ben Drowned 33 asks, Mark, is there something wrong if I don't hate Jar Jar? Yes. Yes, there is. Dre8 asks, What is your favorite arcade machine out of all the ones that I own? Well, I've got a pretty kick-ass collection of arcade games because I bought the ones that I wanted. I love Frenzy, I love Centipede, Super Pac-Man, I like them all. I find myself playing a lot of Road Blasters these days. And of course the Neo Geo is wonderful. I just put a Ninja Gaiden board in the, in the other uh, Neo Geo cabinet over there you can't see. So we got Ninja Gaiden now in the house. Let's move on to... Is Lord Carnage Irish? No, but he loves Ireland and the beer. From Valva Valva Eva I can't pronounce that, but good question. Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's do one more. What's a good Laserdisc player? From J. Martin, 729. What's a good Laserdisc player to watch Star Wars? Actually, that's a very good question. I would recommend a Laserdisc player that has S-video output and does the automatic uh, disc flipping or whatever. Basically, it has lasers on two sides. The uh, problem with collecting Laserdisc players is that they're actually not that cheap. Um, I was pretty happy. I'm, I've been pretty happy with the one that I have back there. I don't remember the model number, but I will take the camera over and show you because after doing some research, I found it was a good buy and performance-wise, it works well. So, try to pick a Laserdisc player from the late 90s. Those are the last Laserdisc players. Kind of hard to see tucked back here, but this thing is heavy, which is why it's on the bottom. I have the Panasonic Multi Laser Disc Player LX-867. Zero with auto reverse. Here are the controls, and it even has remote control. Right here. For watching Star Wars. Here's the back of the rack, which probably needs a good dusting by now, but this Laserdisc player has analog output for audio and video, S video, and optical audio out, which is also something you probably want. You won't get surround sound unless you have a special decoder, I think. Uh, but the stereo is more than good enough for Star Wars, so there you go. Manufactured from December 1994. The LXH670U. You rock.